OK, it's a rainy day, so I thought I'd make a video on how to fit easy wheels to your Brompton. This is the latest upgrade to my bike. Um, you've got front wheels here on the front of the rack, and you've got aft wheels at the back. Um, the shock cords have to be crossed over in this fashion so that they don't run against the wheels. If you have them in their normal position, they can rub on that inside there, on that edge. I don't know if you see that very well. Yeah, so in a normal running position, they can rub on these, so best off crossing them over. Um, I've done a little drawing of the sequence for the washers. So the the front wheels, they fit on like so, with the four M6 washers and the bolt fitting through the wheel. It's exactly the same on the other side. Um, I've put a bit of that Loctite stuff on of this thread here that screws in, just as a preventative of it coming off, coming loose. Okay, the rear is a little bit more complicated. It uses the same wheels, but you've got to remember that the uh, holes are slightly smaller for the aft wheels. Um, yes, yeah, so you have the bolt, then your six washers, and then the wheel, then four M5 washers. Then you have like a nylon-y type washer with a spacer, and then the shock cord which slots over the top of the spacer, and another nylon washer, uh, the single M5 washers as it says on the drawing. And then the nut, was, it's got a, like a nylock nut on it which stops it from coming undone so you don't need any of the thread lock on it. Um, exactly the same sort of pattern again. You have the nut, uh, single M5 washer, the nylon washer, the shock cord spacer that slots over the top, then you another nylon washer, M5 washer, uh, that fits through the hole that's in the side of here. And you've got five M5 washers, the wheel, two M5 washers, and then the bolt. And that's it. So that's the configuration of how to put that on. The nylon washers sit either side of the shock cord. You can see that there and there. And they just hold that in place. Try not to pinch the this too much when you're cramping that on. It shouldn't, otherwise it'll make it fray. You want to make sure it's over the top of the spacer and the nylock. And that then tightens it all up. Yeah, good bit of kit. I'm really pleased with it, and it rolls so much better. You can just use it like a trolley when you're when you're out and about, and if you're on a train platform or something, it works really well. Um, setups as usual, absolutely full bag of stuff. Okay, so if you need to fit those wheels, you know how to do it. Oh, a lot of codes here as well. The part code for the rack type, which is the forward and aft wheels. Is um, it's a part code Q E Z W set R. R stands for rack. Um, simple as that. Oh, it also comes with a bung that fits into the bottom of the seat post, so that when your bike's folded, it doesn't roll away because they do roll over so easily with the new wheels, and that just fits into the bottom and tightens up with an, uh, an Allen key. Very straightforward. Okay, thanks a lot.